YouTube, how the fudge are you doing? Hey guys, it's Bronify today. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not Nate Shot. I wish I was, but I'm not. Anyways, what is up, my little bronies? It's Sean or Bronify here, and today I'm bringing you guys another co commentary. Blech. I have not made a commentary in a while. It's been like a week or so, but you know, I've been lazy and a lot of IRL stuff's been going on, so I haven't been really able to actually get on my mic and actually talk to you guys. But today is kind of different. I'm actually going to give you guys a little story that happened to me back when I was in eighth grade. So, this happened, I believe, um, during the summer of 8th grade going into my freshman year. So, this is like a few years ago, me and my friends would always like go outside and play in his like awesome neighborhood. And, you know, he lived in an apartment complex, so we'd run around and through the hallways and we'd make like a whole bunch of noise and piss everybody off. We go inside his room, we play it on his PlayStation, and you know, we, we jumped up and down. We were the biggest idiots like in the entire neighborhood. Like me and my friends, we just made the most like like annoying shit to piss off any like any of the neighbors. We just did it because we could and then nobody could really stop us no matter what. Not even like the office people who ran the place, they couldn't even stop us. And we've been doing that for about, I don't know, two, three years running and you know, we just we just do it because we could. We were young and stupid, and we didn't really know like how much trouble we can actually get into. And so one day, while we were just chilling, me and my friends, there was like a good group of us. There was like at least I don't know seven, eight of us. You know, I think it was like uh, five boys, maybe four four girls. And we we were all like you know eighth graders, seventh graders, and we were just chilling out and. We had this um, forest inside of the back of the um, apartment complexes that they had and it was like a really huge forest like you, you could walk through it They had a bridge and everything and it was really fun and we all loved it a lot and so but this is our first time actually like visiting it so one day um, We were going through in the forest and stuff like that and but oh yeah, by the way, before I even get to that part, I forgot to tell you guys, but we've been warned them that like they even got a, um, a police officer. Um, I should have told you guys this first, but they got a police officer in the complex a few months like after um, you know we, we made so much noise. But you know we, ne we never took the police officer se police officer seriously. Like you know he tell us to, like just keep it down and stuff like that, and so we didn't really care. And after and after a while, like we we eventually got to the point where we weren't supposed to be in the neighborhood anymore because we got like banned, or you could say because you know we were we were bad. We were like baby kids, and so <laughs> we we got we got banned from the neighborhood. And they told us don't come back. If we do, you'll get in trouble. Blah blah blah. But I was convinced by my friends that we should just go out and, you know, we should just say fuck it because they, they won't do anything like they're, like we're not scared of them, we're kids. And so here we are now. I'm going to fast forward it to where we, I, we snuck back in the neighborhood after I've been convinced and that's where we go inside the forest. And, you know, we were just chilling, all, you know, hanging around in the forest area. You know, we were walking around and we were just going to like some really high rough places because they had like a fence where, you know, you shouldn't really be going into. But we went anyways because we thought it was cool. We just want to explore more of the forest as we go on. And, you know, we got up this steep hill and, you know, there's a lot of trees and stuff. But next, you know, one of my friends, he, he went to go um ahead of us. And he eventually, after like five minutes, he came back and he was telling us like in a like in a whispering voice, he's like, guys, 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 the police are here. Like there's like there's like two cops like in the forest. Like I think they're looking for us. And at first we, we didn't believe him. We thought he was just fucking around with us because we, we didn't know any better. We were like, yeah, right. Stop playing. Stop playing around. You're, you're not serious. And he's like, no, 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 I'm serious. And next, you know, my other friend who comes in behind him. And um, he was like, yeah, dude, like, dude, 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 we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. They're here. They're, they're looking for us. They're looking for us. And everybody's like, oh, shit. What do we do? What do we do? And, you know, we didn't know what to do considering that we were afraid that, you know, we were going to get caught. So we decided to try and make an escape out the forest. Um, we did what we should have done was escape the way we came back. But we had a feeling that because that's the way they came from. We had a feeling that they were still there and we didn't want to run into them or anything like that. And you know we didn't want to get you know get caught, so we so we went through the forest. We had to go like over this huge tree stump, a bridge, a, like a really messed up bridge, and you know things were starting to get nitty gritty because we had to go through like these hill, like the steep hill area. Trees were like where it's slanted, and the trees stuck out, and you know, and it was really bad. And next thing you know, we we were really trying to get away. It was like it was like us like prisoners es like escaping a jail, 
and you know the next thing you know the worst thing that, that could possibly happen is a huge like thorn field or so like nothing but like thorns everywhere guys so we mean thorns but we thought it was our only way out of this so we had so we went through we went through that thorn field and you know we were getting cut everywhere Thank, thankfully i had like a long sleeve and some pants on and like i and like i kind of sagged them that way I, like you know the less cuts the better you know they stick onto the pants but they get tear off a little and you know i i sagged my pants a little but sadly for some of the girls that were there you know they had tank tops and like short shorts and it wasn't all that good you know and uh, it was really bad because a lot of us got cut you know when we had to go through this really really big thorn field and you know we were trying to get through my friend she she couldn't walk anymore like like some of my friends got like thorns caught in their arms some in their legs it wasn't a beautiful sight some of us were even bleeding and you know she, like some of my friends they couldn't even walk anymore due to the fact that it was really hurting them so they had the piggyback ride one of my friends they were still getting cut while getting piggybacked right on so it was it was overall a bad experience and so we finally got out of there in like 20 20 20 minutes or something sorry i'm stuttering and what it, but it, what it seemed like forever and you know we get out and you know we see this unknown like neighborhood that we're not sure of but we know that we could just find our way out but next thing you know out of nowhere the cop the cop came like the cop actually came and we were like how did he do that how did he find us and how did he catch us first of all and we're not really sure what happened and apparently like we sh like that thorn field was all for nothing considering that there was literally a path around the thorn field that the cop just took and cut us off and you know some of my friends attempted to, like to run but it didn't really work out we, we, we were like dude just come back there's no point like you might as well just come back because they're gonna eventually find out where you live you know they got us all captive and you know we're scared shitless anyways so the cops like all right guys come back with me you know you know blah 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 and you know you guys are in trouble and we we're like okay whatever and the entire walk back to the um apartment complex office was silent as fuck. Nobody talked, like, cause we knew we were all in trouble. So after we went to the um apartment complex, um they had they call they they were calling our parents down. They called the kids who lived in the apartment in the complex. They're calling their parents down, and we had to get and the people who didn't live in the apartment complex, like me and some of my other friends, we had to um give our parents phone numbers to them. And you know they had to call our parents to actually come and get us, and they even called, they even like did a um, restraint warrant or so. I'm not sure what it's called a trespassing warrant, where you know we couldn't come back inside the neighborhood. Like if so, we would be breaking the law, and we'd either go to juvie and go to jail because we were like 15, 16. So you know we we got in trouble, and my they had to call my mom. And in about 10 minutes or so, my mom came, and she was in this like huge pissed off mood because she knew I was banned banned from there she even told me not to go back but I went back anyways and you know she was in this huge pissed off mood when she came and I'm gonna and you know she already knew how much trouble I was and I was literally crying there in front of my friends and they they didn't say anything they gave me this sad look because they knew that they were going to go through that same pain and you know we eventually some of my friends started crying while i started crying because they did not want their parents to be there because they already knew how much trouble they're going to be in and you know since we're talking about black black parents here you know we were going to get the shit beat out of us when we got home or away from them so i had to sign the search at uh, not search one the, um you know trespassing warrant whatever and telling or telling them that i can't come back either way and you know I, either if I do, I will get arrested or so, and I get in trouble. So I, you know, I got home, I got my ass kicked, and overall, I have I I, ha I didn't go back to that neighborhood in about two years. But until like I don't know sophomore year, I decided to go back. And you know, the one of the cops still lived there, but he didn't really seem to care. I don't think he really actually distinguished us, but he didn't really seem to care after that. And you know. You know, we still go to that neighborhood, but we barely go because, you know, we it's just not fun outside anymore as it used to be since, you know, we've all grown up and, you know, we've gotten older and older. But, um, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, the, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. That pretty much wraps up the entire, um, story. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. The moral of this story is pretty much fuck the cops. But, yeah, just fuck the cops. Yeah, fuck the cops. I don't like them. You guys don't like them. Nobody likes the cops. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this story. Um, it got pretty longer than it needed it to be, but oh well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. If you guys did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Sean O'Brenify, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.